High up in the western Catskills, just east of Hancock, the gas companies are gearing up to haul radioactive drill cuttings to a landfill south of Buffalo. Convoys of enormous trucks laden with rock chips, radium, strontium, and unknown fracking chemicals will soon wind down these backcountry roads, roads that are barely more than a pair of ditches cut through the forest, over terrain so steep that trees can barely hang on. What could possibly go wrong? The roads follow the creeks, twisting down the mountainsides. One slip in the mud, one corner cut a little too sharply, and the truck winds up in the creek. What could possibly go wrong? The creeks here all run down to the Cannonsville Reservoir, a drinking water source for 8 million New Yorkers. Of course there's nothing to worry about, as the route is heavily fortified. With so many millions absolutely dependent on this water source, no effort is being spared. There is no alternate source. This reservoir is vital. What could possibly go wrong? No one is taking any chances with New York's water. Gas drilling and hydrofracking have been banned in the New York City watershed for fear the contamination of the reservoirs would be catastrophic for millions of people. But the drillers want to truck their toxic wastes right along the shoreline, literally a stone's throw from the water. They have applied for permits to truck drilling sludge through the watershed. What could possibly go wrong? Further north, and all across western New York, people whose water supplies are not protected by a state drilling ban are rising up to challenge the drillers. We have banded together to convince our town boards to enact drilling bans and moratoria. We know that if our water gets fracked up, we will have no alternatives either. We'll be out of luck. We're still fighting, and we thought you'd like to know what good care your water supplies are receiving.